Hey, uh, Green Eileen here, and today's video is about how I converted my car, my 1985 uh, Mercedes diesel to run on waste vegetable oil, vegetable oil. Before I get started, I just want to show you how cute these little houses are behind me. I'm in Laguna Woods, uh, California here in South Orange County, and it is an entire city dedicated to senior citizens over the age of 55. Pro I should probably call them people in, in their prime times, really what I should call them. But it's everything from little co-ops to, to condos to townhomes to single family residences. There's 12,000 uh, units here. It's amazing. The amount of clubs that you can do, that you can get involved in. And they have uh, horse stables, they have bocce ball, they have, you can pay $12 golf. I mean, this place is amazing. Gonna get try to get mom down here eventually, just so she can be closer to me. And she could boss more people around, quite frankly. So here is uh, dedicated to my girlfriend, Cheryl. She wanted to know how I, how I did the veggie mobile. So in the background here, you can see my veggie mobile. And what you first thing you need to know is that in order to run on waste vegetable oil, you need an older, you need an older diesel. It's really hard to do it with current diesels because of computer chips and technology and that type of thing. So that's why we chose a 1985. And the other thing you need to know when you work, when you run on waste vegetable oil, you can't, if you you can you could put it in your diesel tank if you add chemicals to it which is called biofuel but terry and i decided that we just wanted to run on purely waste vegetable oil the stuff that you get from french fryers and donut fryers my favorite uh all over uh, where wherever and so that means that you need two tanks so where do you put your second tank because you need to start on diesel fuel and then when it gets when the vegetable oil gets hot enough you can then convert it and have this little toggle switch that i have in my car Car, toggle switch it over to the waste vegetable oil so what we did is we put a tank in the trunk and there it is here's the tank of the waste vegetable oil and there's a heater that's on top you can see there's like gauges and stuff you know it's all technical I didn't do this we actually had this guy named uh, Smokey do the conversion how ironic that a guy named Smokey did a waste vegetable oil conversion but you know just a little FYI there then after it leaves the 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 tank here it goes to another filtration system and another heater it goes under the um, under the car into the engine and that's where uh, that's where well you get to go right it's a diesel engine it's not a combustion engine but that's essentially how we run on waste vegetable oil um, the other thing I wanted to tell you is that the waste vegetable oil needs to be clean. It needs to have zero particles in there. Well, we, we can, you can get under 10 microns of particulates. Terry has a system in the garage where he gets it down to two microns, but it's got to be clean or else you get all clogged up and you can't go. So, um, Cheryl, I hope you enjoyed this video about, about the veggie mobile. Here she is again, my beautiful veggie mobile and how we run on waste vegetable oil. I really enjoyed doing this video. If you like it and if you want to share it, feel free to like, share or comment. And I look forward to the next uh, video from Green Eileen from Old Royd Realty. Have a great day.